In this video, I will explain how we can get the latest uh, status. So let me show you the data here. We have uh, three columns. The first one is the sale date, the product and their status. So here you can see uh, we have like uh, uh, this date, the first of Jan and uh, second of Jan, and we have uh, product one. Product first uh, on the date first we have uh, status red, and the second date we have the status green, and uh, then uh, you can see product two, product three, and product five. So these are their status, and we need to find the current status. For example, if we see uh, these two products, product one for the date one and day two, and what is the current status? The current status is the latest uh, status that, that is green. And for the product two, the latest status is yellow because the maximum date here is four and so on. So let's try to achieve this in with the help of uh, ducks in Power BI. So let's go to the Power BI. So here I have dragged products. So I will uh, tell you two methods. So let's do one by one. Um, we need to create one measure. So status method one. So here we have to use one function that is Lost value, lost non blank value. We had already made a one video on this function. So here we have to provide one column name. The column name will be a sheet date because uh, the lost non blank value first sort uh, the data according to the first parameter. So it will sort the data date wise and then the expression will be like we can use any uh, function here max min or anything so it doesn't matter and uh, here we have to use one column status sheet status that's it so now we have to drag and drop So here you can see, uh, let me open this um, Excel file as well. So here you can see the product one, the latest status is green. So here we have product one, the status is green and product two, the status is, is yellow and product three, the status is red and five is the green. So how uh, this function is working, it is, it works under the uh, current filter context. So what is the current filter context? Here, here the current filter context is, is the product. Uh, let me open here. And uh, when we have uh, two products, like product one, product two, and then it will sort the date column that we have uh, provided here, um, this date, so, and sorting wise, it will get uh, the first of Jan and second of Jan, and then we will get the uh, status green. So if I use here, for example, because I, as I have told you that uh, it doesn't matter which function we are using here, I, if I use here min, so here you can see green, yellow, red, uh, green, yellow red and green okay so this is this is the first math method so let's try to achieve the same result with the help of uh, variables and uh, tree test function it will be very useful because we have already seen uh, many of the ducks functions and uh, now we are just uh, utilizing them in a practical way so let's create 
new measure and uh, here will be like sales status method 2 and uh, here we have to use variable like uh, current product so it will be selected selected value and uh, we need to provide here the product and here we need to remove this equal sign so this is the first variable the current product and uh, I will uh, explain you like a return and step by step so that you should know that what is the output what we are doing here just uh, I mean I don't want to write the entire formula and show you the result because this is not the purpose so this is the current product this one and uh, status method 2 here you can see we are getting the current product what is the current product is 1 2 3 5 1 2 3 and 5 we need to create one more variable Uh, for example, this is the latest date. So it will be calculate and uh, max sheet sales date. And uh, here we have to use treat as. We had already made one video on the treat as as well when I mean we need we, we use uh, this treat as function when we don't have any physical relationship so here we have to use the name of uh, the variable that is current product and uh, then the column name to which we need to compare that will be sheet product this one okay so and uh, let me control C let me display the output step by step so here you can see the the maximum date for the the product one is is the 2nd of uh, January and uh, then the product 2 the date is 4 the product 3 the date is 6 and uh, for the product 5 the the date is again 6 right okay so let me zoom it again now we need to write one more variable result is equal to and uh, here we have to do the, the calculation. So the calculate values and uh, which column we want to return. This is the status, this one. And uh, in the filter, we have to write here for example the sheet date is equal to latest date the the variable that's it and uh, we need to display this result so here you can see we are getting the same result as we have seen in the method one with the help of uh, treat and uh, variables. If you like this video, 
please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you